designer herself. Here's a woman that was a huge Hollywood producer. As in Hollywood, as in, yeah, celebrities, big time television. And then decided at some point, you know what? I wanna do something a little different. Moved to Paris, lived in Paris for many, many, many years, and then created her own fashion line. And 12 years to today, we, oh, I love that. 12 years to today, we get to celebrate Marla Ginsburg, who is our designer, with the beautiful collection that we call Marla Wynn. And because it is her 12th anniversary, let's make this anniversary feel extra special. One, get social with us. We're gonna be live on Facebook. They're gonna hand me the iPad at some point and I'll be able to read your comments. Also, call the show. Um, we can Skype you directly in with Marla um, via Skype. So call the show. We wanna hear your testimonials. And as a matter of fact, let's give a big round of applause to the 12th anniversary lady. Marla, congratulations to you you know where did that go <laughs> like whoop. you know we said the same thing like, we I, 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 just, I was talking it, to Tyler and he was like it seems like she just started like six years ago but it's like double the we, amount of time time I'll flies when you you're why. having fun well that is for darn sure but I will tell you one of the reasons it feels that way we launched like we had this little baby launch 12 years ago. And then HSN came to me and said, listen, we think you could, we, we, we'd like to see your brand grow a little more, bit more. And they had some issues because manufacturing is a hard thing to do and they didn't like my manufacturer. So I used to take the bus from Montreal where I was living at the time into New York City to interview and meet with various manufacturers here in the United States. And I have to tell you what, uh, the bus ride wasn't always fun, but boy, am I grateful for that Greyhound bus because it shuttled me into New York and into a wonderful group of manufacturers, and here we are today. So it's been more like 10 really, really active years, but 12 since my launch. Well, I love it. We're gonna dive right in because we're gonna begin with the color block sweater knit poncho cardigan. You're taking a look at Miss Kenya, who is modeling for us. Kenya is 5'9". She's normally a size 12, 14 or a size, uh, she's normally a size 10, I should say. And she is wearing the size 12, 14. And she is wearing the dark slate. Kenya's, by the way, measurements are right there on your television screen so that you'll see. But we are also offering this in other beautiful colors. We are caring for you extra small through 3X. Kenya is in the dark slate, but take a look at the Canyon Rose. And you're gonna see quite a bit of Canyon Rose in the show. This color is so wonderful. It's so pretty next to any complexion. So there's your Canyon Rose. Here's the color that Kenya is wearing up close. That's the dark slate that Kenya is wearing. Next to that, over chic, especially Especially if you like a little touch of black um, in your garments, here's the black. That would look great with what I'm actually wearing today. And then we also have it available for you in the sand. So let's get into this cardigan for a matter of moments. We talked about the sale price, um, but cardigans and toppers are a big part of your collection, Marla. Tell us about that and why. Well, they are because they're easy. Now, first of all, I just want to clarify something. This is combined sizes. So I'm in a medium large. I'm not sure what size Kenya's wearing. But some of you will look at a piece like this, which is really like a poncho that's sewn on the sides. I love it. This is a viscose polyamide. And it's a wonderful knit for the summer because you know what? It's not going to wrinkle. I love to wear sweater knits in the summer that don't wrinkle. And this is one of them. And it's just such an easy over piece. I've got a little tank on. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if you look at this and you say to yourself, oh, I'm afraid it's going to overwhelm me. I'm going to show you a few ways to style it in a minute. But what I want you to know is you can easily go down a size. If you look at something while we're on air and you go, oh, I don't know. I'd like things more fitted, but that's got a chic kind of elegant look to it, which is what I think a poncho does when it's done right, then just go down a size. Don't be afraid to go down a size. You know, they're just sort of a, a general GPS to what, what your perfect size should be in this. I do feel this is a piece that works on all shapes and sizes. You can see it on Angie. Angie is, Angie, what size are you, sweetie? What size are you wearing, Angie? Small. She's wearing the small and she's actually. So extra small, small? Yeah. So she's she must wearing be the, wearing the extra small, small. Yeah. And then what's Kenya in? Kenya is in the extra large, large. Extra large, extra large uh, 1X. Perfect. And I'm in 
the medium large. So you can kind of see how this fits me. I could easily go down a size. If you go down a size, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose a couple inches in the cross body. So if you're a petite, go down a size or two, no problem. But here's what I love about it. And let me show you how I like to style it. So this is the one that has a little bit of the, this beautiful sort of prairie sand color. I put it with a new necklace that we have that I love. We had it before, but we've never done it here with the beautiful cream. I put it with this beautiful almond sweater. And I put it with the almond essential knit crepe pant. So that's a great way to, to style that piece. And then in the canyon rose, I wanted to show you that if you don't, you want to mix a print underneath, no problem. We put a, our little blurred stripe right there underneath it. It looks beautiful. And I put it with a white pant, which I love. So you can mix and match. That's one of the really fun things about color blocking. Or you can put the matching um, pant right underneath so you can do more of a head to toe look we do have tops that go in each of these you know go with each of these pieces i've put it with the with the cream pant which i love 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 and we'll talk about that in a minute and i just feel very comfortable i feel kind of like i'm in my jammies which is a real plus because those of you who know me well know that the way i road test all of my clothes is they have to pass the sleep test. <laughs> they have to be comfortable. I have to be able to fall into bed in them. And this little cardigan is just a great over piece. You can throw this over a little dress. You can mix and match yeah. with any of the pieces that we have in our collection because Canyon Rose and uh, the beautiful um, sort of uh, shell pink that I use and the rose that's in there, you're gonna see these colors, whether you pick the blue, whether you pick the Canyon Rose, whether you pick this one, you're gonna see how our colors move tonally from delivery to delivery. Well, there you go. Yeah, and that's doesn't gorgeous. Doesn't look well bad for her? And look how beautiful that is. I am really big on this head to toe column yeah. of creams and whites. I'm finding that in the same way I was watching the Cora's presentation. And you know, the fact of the matter is, as we get a little bit older, you want things that brighten your skin and that brighten you up. And I used to be like, you know, our lady of eternal black. My, my, <laughs> my closet was the heart of darkness. And now it's starting to bloom and pop with color because I find it just serves me over, overall. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. This is kind of my everyday face with a little extra mascara. And that's it. But the clothes illuminate.